and welcome to this tutorial on using the ASAP list in Practice Web. The ASAP list is used to identify appointments for patients who are able to come in on short notice and have asked to be contacted when an earlier appointment becomes available, usually through a cancellation. In this tutorial webinar, you will learn how to use the ASAP list effectively, customize the ASAP list, and text ASAP patients to fill openings. Use the ASAP list effectively. To mark an appointment as ASAP, go into the Edit Appointment window by double-clicking on the appointment. In the left-hand corner, click ASAP and then click OK. This also can be done when first creating the appointment. You're also able to mark recall patients for ASAP by going into the Family module, double-clicking in the Recall window, then double-clicking on the Recall, and marking the Schedule ASAP checkbox. The ASAP list itself is located within the Appointment List window in the upper right-hand corner of the Appointments module. Click on ASAP to pull up the ASAP list window. Customize the ASAP list. You are able to filter by provider assigned to the appointment, clinic if clinics are enabled, site that the appointment is assigned to, and code range of the codes attached to the appointment. Once you have set your filter settings, click Refresh to update your list. Within the ASAP list, there are two tabs, Appointments and Recalls. The Appointments tab lists Scheduled, Unscheduled, Planned, and Broken Appointments that have been marked as ASAP. Within this list, you're also able to filter by appointment status. You're able to select one or multiple from the drop-down. If none are selected, then all will show. The Recall tab lists all patients with a recall marked as Scheduled ASAP. In this tab, you are able to filter by recalled due date and by how many reminders the patient has received. You can also choose to group this list by family. Within either of these tabs, you can right-click on an appointment to select patient, which will pull up the patient's account within the module that you're currently in within Practice Web. See Chart is to immediately go to the patient's chart. Send to Pinboard will copy the appointment to the Pinboard and bring it to the Appointments module. From here, you can drag and drop to schedule the appointment, and this will also remove it from the ASAP list. Text ASAP patients to fill openings. There are a couple of options for contacting patients through this list if the office is set up with our texting services with PW Connect. On the right side of the ASAP list, you can use the text button to send a text message to patients letting them know to contact the office to claim an opening on the schedule. From the on-demand texting window, you can use the checkboxes to the left of the patient names to select who will receive text messages. The text template dropdown will allow you to choose the text patients will receive. You can customize the ASAP list text messages using the PW Connect software. You can go to the text template section and click on the On Demand Text tab. From the message type dropdown, select the ASAP list and then click the Create New Template button. All templates require an English and Spanish section, which will be sent based on the patient's preferred language in the family module. That wraps up the ASAP List webinar. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to call our support line at 800-845-9379, option 2, or contact us via email 
listed below for assistance.